Mongolia, where hosts have their daughters warm guests throughout the night. Mongolia is a land of incredible landscapes and ancient traditions, but there are some practices that might just surprise you. Imagine arriving at a remote home, and instead of a warm handshake or a cup of tea, you're greeted with something entirely different. In Mongolia, it's not uncommon for hosts to have their daughters provide warmth for guests throughout the night. From unexpected hospitality practices to astonishing local customs, let's dive into some of the most surprising and lesser known facts about Mongolia. Number one, hosts offering daughters to guests. Mongolia, a country with vast grasslands and long-standing practices, possesses some exceptionally distinctive traditions. One of the most fascinating customs is the historical tradition of presenting a daughter or wife to guests as a sign of hospitality. Although uncommon in modern times, this tradition provides an interesting look into the traditional values of Mongolia. In previous times, Mongolian nomads experienced severe winter weather, with temperatures dropping to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 40 degrees Celsius. In these difficult times, it was essential to uphold hospitality. The act of offering travelers warmth and comfort was seen as a privilege, despite the potential for personal sacrifice. Giving a daughter or wife to a visitor was considered a means of guaranteeing their welfare. This custom wasn't based on exploitation, but instead an intense level of welcoming behavior. The main objective of the host was to ensure that their visitor was well looked after in the harsh cold weather. In Mongolian culture, it is vital to show respect and kindness to guests as part of a deeply ingrained tradition. Despite being rare now because of modernization and shifting beliefs, this tradition highlights how far Mongolian nomads would go to make sure their visitors were comfortable. Mongolia demonstrates its hospitality through various customs too. For example, it is customary to greet guests by serving them airag, a traditional fermented drink made from mare's milk. The core of Mongolian culture continues to be the kindness and generosity of its people, despite the disappearance of certain traditional customs. Number two, Mongolia's coldest capital. Ulaanbaatar, commonly known as UB, faces some of the most severe winters worldwide. The typical yearly temperature in this location is approximately minus 0.4 degrees Celsius, which is lower than the average temperatures of capital cities, such as Moscow, Reykjavik, and Ottawa. It may be surprising, but let's investigate the reasons behind why Ulaanbaatar has earned this cold reputation. To start with, we should discuss the distinctive positioning of Ulaanbaatar. Located in the northern central region of Mongolia, this city is situated at a height of approximately 1,350 meters or 4,430 feet above sea level. The cold temperatures are a result of the high altitude. The presence of mountains around the city increases the sensation of cold, particularly in the winter. You may be curious about how individuals cope with living in such harsh cold conditions. The solution can be found in their customary way of living. Mongolians have adjusted exceptionally well to their surroundings. Throughout history, they have depended on ancient dwellings known as jeers or yurts, which are perfect for staying cozy. These round mobile homes are insulated with sheep wool felt, which is highly effective in keeping heat inside. In the winter, families rely on coal or wood-burning stoves to stay cozy inside their jeers. Even with the low temperatures, Ulaanbaatar is a lively city where almost half of Mongolia's population resides. The city has adapted its infrastructure and daily routines to deal with the extreme temperatures. Number three, Mongolia's paleontological riches. The Gobi Desert, which covers areas in Mongolia and China, is not only one of the biggest deserts globally, but also an exceptional location for paleontology. The harsh, dry surroundings conceal a wealth of ancient mysteries waiting to be discovered. During the 1920s, the Gobi Desert gained renown for its remarkable find, the initial dinosaur eggs. This groundbreaking discovery transformed how we perceive dinosaurs and their reproduction. From that time on, the desert has consistently surprised scientists with its abundance of fossils, which range from dinosaurs and ancient mammals to prehistoric plants. One of the most well-known dinosaur findings in the Gobi Desert is the Velociraptor, famous for its portrayal in movies such as Jurassic Park. Researchers gained important information about the size, diet, and behavior of this fearsome predator from the fossils found in this area. Another important discovery is the Protoceratops, a small dinosaur without horns. 
Discovering Protoceratops fossils in the Gobi Desert has offered crucial insights into its existence and surroundings, along with proof of some of the oldest dinosaur nesting sites. The unique feature of the Gobi Desert is not only its dinosaur fossils, but also its diverse array of other ancient organisms. One instance where remnants of prehistoric creatures, such as the Delta Theridium, an ancestor of current marsupials, have been discovered. This indicates that the area previously housed a variety of different organisms. Number 4. Throat Singing – A Unique Musical Tradition Kumi, also known as Mongolian Throat Singing, is a captivating and distinct musical tradition globally. It's more than just singing, it involves producing various sounds simultaneously. Picture a lone vocalist creating two or even three separate notes at the same time. This incredible ability enables them to replicate the authentic noises of their environment, such as the breeze, streams, and animal vocalizations. Kumi has a strong historical connection to Mongolian culture and has been in use for many centuries. UNESCO has acknowledged this tradition as an intangible cultural heritage because of its significance. The singing method includes manipulating vocal cords and resonating the sound in a manner that produces overtones, enabling an individual to mimic a small choir. Various types of kumi exist, each showcasing its own distinct qualities. For instance, sigit creates high, whistling tones, whereas kargira produces deep, growling sounds. Every design represents Mongolia's varied terrains and nature features. Number 5. The Nomadic Lifestyle one of the most intriguing parts of life in Mongolia is the nomadic way of living, which is still flourishing in present times. Around 30 to 40% of Mongolians still lead a nomadic lifestyle, which is both remarkable and age-old. These wanderers follow the changing seasons, journeying through the vast Mongolian steppes, along with their horses, camels, and sheep. Mongolia's expansive land, featuring limitless grasslands, mountains, and deserts, is ideal for the nomadic way of life. It provides the necessary area and materials for the groups of animals to feed and prosper. Families on the move usually reside in mobile dwellings known as jeers or yurts, circular tents made of a wooden frame and felt. These yurts are extremely useful in a practical way. Relocating becomes a simple task as they can be effortlessly taken apart and packed away. The structure of the GR also aids in retaining heat during Mongolia's severe winters when temperatures can plummet to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The nomadic way of life involves more than just traveling between locations. It has strong foundations in tradition and self-reliance. Number 6. Two Humped Bactrian Camels Mongolia is famed for its expansive terrains and distinct fauna, with the two humped Bactrian camel standing out as one of its exceptional inhabitants. Only around 1,000 of these camels remain in the wild, making them extremely scarce. In contrast to their dromedary relatives, Bactrian camels possess two humps that aid in fat storage and adaptation to Mongolia's harsh desert environment. The adaptation of the Bactrian camel to the harsh climate is what makes it so fascinating. They are able to withstand temperatures as high as 40 degrees Celsius in summer and as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius in winter. Their dense, long fur helps regulate temperature in all types of weather, and their humps can hold up to 80 pounds of fat that can be transformed into water and energy. The Bactrian camel holds significance as not only a rare species, but also a cultural symbol in Mongolia. The nation honors these amazing creatures at the Thousand Camel Festival, a yearly celebration dedicated to the Bactrian camel. At this event, you can see camel competitions, participate in camel rides, and immerse yourself in the nomadic way of life, supporting conservation efforts and gaining insight into the important role Mongolian camels play in culture and ecology is a fantastic opportunity. Number 7. Golden Eagle Festival Occurring each year in the Altai Mountains of Western Mongolia, this two-day festival is a magnificent tribute to a long-standing custom. The festival highlights Kazakh hunters and their amazing bond with golden eagles. This is the process. Experienced hunters called Berkuchi showcase their impressive eagles, which have been trained to hunt foxes and hares in a sequence of competitions. These eagles, weighing as much as 15 pounds and with wingspans about 7 feet long, are essential collaborators in this ancient tradition, not merely animals kept as companions. The event showcases exciting contests, where the eagles showcase their skill, quickness, and accuracy. The eagle hunt 
is among the most thrilling events, demonstrating hunter's bird skill in catching prey. Additionally, beauty pageants exist where eagles are evaluated based on their looks and skills. The Golden Eagle Festival is not only a contest, but also a lively cultural gathering. The celebration features traditional Kazakh music, dancing, and intricate costumes as well. Onlookers witness the strong connection between hunters and their eagles, developed over many years of training and mutual respect. Number 8. Mongolia's Role in Inventing Ice Cream The contribution of Mongolia to the invention of ice cream is a surprising and intriguing part of history. This is how it went down. In ancient times, Mongolian riders played a significant role in the creation of a popular delicacy enjoyed worldwide. During their journey across the unforgiving Gobi Desert, they transported cream in distinct containers crafted from animal intestines. These containers were robust and efficient for their requirements. While riding through the desert, the horseman's movement and the cold weather of the Gobi caused the cream inside the containers to churn. A combination of natural cooling and intense shaking resulted in the development of an early version of ice cream. This dessert from long ago was not similar to the ice cream we like now. It was primarily a frozen dessert with a creamy texture, demonstrating how creativity and need can result in delightful findings. Number 9. Sky Burials – A Dark Tradition In distant areas of Mongolia, there is a traditional practice that may seem odd, yet has significant cultural importance. It is referred to as sky burial, which includes exposing the dead body to the environment for scavenging birds. This is the process. When an individual dies in these areas, their remains are placed on an elevated platform or in a public space. This contact with the natural environment is not coincidental. Mongolians think that by giving their body to the sky and animals, they are guaranteeing a quick return to nature. This custom shows a deep spiritual bond with nature, emphasizing their reverence for the circle of life and death. Sky burials originate from Buddhist beliefs, where death is seen as a change rather than a finality. The concept involves allowing natural processes to unfold while accelerating the decomposition process. In a nation where the severe weather conditions and expansive terrains hinder the feasibility of conventional burials, this custom also has a utilitarian function in halting the transmission of illnesses and preserving limited land assets. Number 10. Fermented Mare's Milk Arag, referred to as fermented mare's milk, is a distinctive and captivating tradition in Mongolia. This beverage is intricately entwined in the tapestry of Mongolian culture, which adds an intriguing element to their lifestyle. Arag is produced by fermenting mare's milk with a unique blend of bacteria and yeast. The outcome is a mildly alcoholic drink with a unique tangy flavor. Contrary to other alcoholic beverages, Arag has a low alcohol content, typically ranging from 2 to 3 percent, similar to that of a light beer. For centuries, Mongolians have consumed Arag, which is more than just a drink. It has a central place in social events and rituals, representing the country's strong nomadic culture. Presenting Arag to visitors is a sign of courtesy and welcome, embodying the kindness and goodwill of Mongolian traditions. In traditional Mongolian culture, Arag is commonly produced in large wooden containers known as kark, and is occasionally presented in special silver bowls. Making Arag involves the participation of the whole community, uniting families and neighborhoods. During gatherings and special occasions, it is typical to observe individuals partaking in Arag together, underscoring its role in strengthening social connections. Number 11. Superstitions Around Thresholds In Mongolian culture, the threshold of a door holds a special, almost sacred significance. Stepping on or standing in this space is seen as deeply taboo. This belief comes from the idea that the threshold is a boundary between the physical and spiritual worlds, and disturbing it could invite bad luck or disrupt the balance of these realms. If you find yourself in Mongolia and accidentally stand or speak on a threshold, don't be surprised if someone reacts strongly. It's not just a minor oversight, but a serious cultural faux pas. This practice underscores how much importance Mongolians place on maintaining harmony and respect in their everyday lives. Number 12. Genghis Khan's Massive Statue Standing at a staggering 40 meters tall, this colossal monument is not just a tribute to Genghis Khan, but a symbol of Mongolia's rich history and cultural pride. Located about 54 kilometers east of Ulaanbaatar, the capital city, this monumental statue overlooks the vast steppe 
and is a stunning sight to behold. Crafted from stainless steel, the statue depicts Genghis Khan on horseback, with his right hand outstretched as if holding a golden whip. This immense figure isn't just about size. It's a symbol of Genghis Khan's enduring legacy. He united the Mongol tribes in the 13th century and established one of the largest empires in history. The statue is strategically placed on a hilltop, known as the Sonjin Bulldog, which is believed to be near the spot where Genghis Khan found a golden whip, according to local legend. The base of the statue houses a museum where you can explore exhibits about Genghis Khan's life and the history of the Mongol Empire. Visitors can also climb up inside the statue for panoramic views of the surrounding landscape, offering a unique perspective on this historic land. The Genghis Khan statue was inaugurated in 2008, and since then, it has become a major tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the globe. Its sheer size and striking appearance make it a remarkable and memorable sight. So next time you think of Mongolia, remember this massive statue that stands as a monumental testament to one of history's greatest conquerors and the enduring spirit of Mongolia. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for amazing content like this.